Police officers spent the day searching the woods near Trois-Rivières today. The remains of nine-year-old Cedrica Provencher were found there on Friday. She'd been missing since 2007. And as Rob Lurie reports, the family had never given up hope. As police continue to comb the woods where Cedrica's remains were found, feet away, well-wishers add to the makeshift shrine. Flowers, teddy bears, even a child-sized Christmas tree. It's just a symbol of the innocence that Cedrica was. It's not easy because I have children and it's very uh, triste. <laughs> Cedrica's story has been part of this community for almost a decade. The girl with the carefree kid smile went missing on July 31st, 2007. She was last seen being approached by an adult to help search for a missing dog. Police believed the driver of this red Acura, a man in his 30s, was somehow involved in the disappearance. La manque de preuve. For the past preuve year and a half, de... Stéphane Perron has been working on a documentary about Cedrica. He says crime labs didn't find anything in the red Acura, and the driver, who can't be identified, didn't cooperate with the investigation. Frustrating, Perron decided he would try to find Cedrica, and he worked closely with Cedrica's family. We always had hope that we would find her alive, he says, especially her dad. News that she was dead was devastating. On Facebook, Cedrica's father thanked all the people who helped out over the years and said now the family can begin to mourn. Even police officers who worked the case for years are feeling emotional. Many officers had Cedrica's photo on their desks. It was personal for them because most of police officers are father, their mothers in there. So when, when a crime makes a kid a victim, it's, it's something special when you're a police officer. The family says they will continue the Cedrica Provence Foundation, which helps develop tools to find children the minute they go missing. We want to make sure this doesn't happen to anyone else, says Cedrica's grandfather. Police will continue searching for clues tomorrow and likely beyond. What they want now more than anything is to make an arrest. The police officers are combing a wooded area near Trois-Rivières. The remains of Cedrica Provence were found there on Friday. The nine-year-old girl had been missing since July of 2007. Rob, police looking for clues that might lead to an arrest. That's right, Mitz, and it's unknown what they'll find. It has been eight and a half years now, but police really leaving no stone unturned. Yesterday, there were 50 police officers on the scene. Today, they've upped that to more than 200, we have just learned. And so police really looking for anything that will help uh, break this case open. Now, we do know that people here in this neighborhood have been so touched by the whole story of Cedrica Provence. Uh, they've been coming by here, dropping off teddy bears and flowers. I spoke to one man who told me he has three kids and he just wanted to do anything he could to support the family. Cedrica's dad uh, is not here today, neither is the grandfather, but the father did take to Facebook yesterday and he did thank everyone involved in the search uh, saying that, you know, now uh, he can move on to begin mourning his daughter. Uh, they've been holding out something uh, of hope since 2007, and now they know that they can move on with the mourning period, and so that is a very small positive in this whole thing. When Cedrica uh, first went missing back in July 31st, 2007, her bike was found near some garbage bins. Now, back at that time, Police said that all they could say was that there was a red Acura involved in the disappearance. In spite of that, there has never been any arrests made in the case. And all police will say for now is that they are hoping to make an arrest soon.